So I'm Rafael Vargas Suarez. Uh, my work is signed Vargas Suarez Universal, and that's because I grew up in the NASA community. I grew up around the space program. So since I was very young, I always knew I wanted to work somehow with cosmological or space related things. And by the time I was going to school, college, and, and my interest in art was really, really developing, I just decided that I wanted to have the artwork have its own name, its own signature, sort of like a, uh, not an alias, because that's, it's, it's not another person, but I just wanted the art to have its own identity, and in a way, having that signature not be exactly my name, it just made sense to me when I was so much younger, and it just, I just stuck with it, because it's, at some point, I just became too involved to change it. Um, my overall practice is very, very varied. I think of myself as a very experimental uh, artist in the way I work in terms of I'm always interested in new materials, I'm always interested in new ways of presenting uh, works, uh, the arrangement, the installations, the, the, the formats, the scales. So usually I think a lot about a certain subject I research it a lot, and I do a lot of drawing, and then eventually it turns into either large-scale paintings or installations or sometimes multimedia works. I've worked with sound, I've worked with uh, architectural installations, uh, like the painting here, large-scale paintings, but overall it all comes from curiosity. I don't really work with ideas, I work with a lot of curiosity. So this painting is from a series that I started right, or right before 9-11, uh, about summer 2000, and it went into about 2004, 2003 or four. And so the series is called Virus Americanos, which is in Latin for, it's not even a real Latin scientific term for anything, it's just the word virus and the word American. And before 9-11, I was really, for many years, I've been interested in microchip architecture, I was actually dating a surgeon here in New York at the time, a medical doctor. Um, I had felt like I had been in the city just enough time where I was really comfortable with like my life and my situation, my working situation, studio and all that. So in a way, I thought about networks, uh, architecture, the way we move through the city, the way we move through the world. At the same time, I guess, in political terms, I started traveling a lot, especially abroad. So I thought a lot about what it means to be from the United States, what it means to be a foreigner from the United States, what it means to be a foreigner in the United States, what it means to go to another country and people hear you speak English with no accent, but then they look at you and, you know, they make assumptions, they're confused. So I thought a lot about that and and also, like, in connection to, like, a foreign body inside a body. So that's why the whole virus thing came up. And then just this idea of giving it, a, like, a scientific nomenclature. So this series sort of became about a lot of those things. And then 9-11 happened, and I just sort of, I guess, verified some of those ideas. So the series went on for a few more years. And it just kind of grew, like, like an organism. <laughs> and, and then it just kind of stopped. I went into other things. I went more into things related to space science. It is an aerospace architecture and more things that I was already kind of working on. It just, like I'm always working on different things, um, different bodies of work simultaneously. But this one I just felt like, okay, that's... I did that, so I moved on to the next thing. But it was, it kind of represents specific things going on in my life at the time, politically, personally, creatively. I just was always attracted to this idea, to this idea of wood being this material from the landscape, you know, this organic, natural material that could withstand time. So when I started this series, it was on canvas. And as I wanted to get larger and larger with it, I thought in terms of like 
modular architecture, and I thought, well, you have this material that, in a way, it comes from nature, but you can also use it in architecture, but you can also use it as a surface, as a ground for painting. So I just went with it. At first, I was covering the whole thing with just gesso or primer. But then I started noticing the, the wood grain, the, the curved lines, the organic, the biomorphic forms within the wood grain, and I started using those. So then, by me interacting and in a way uh, highlighting those things and also sort of in intervening what nature already did, also added to this idea of a virus, like we're just, you know, intervening, we're interrupting nature. So that was another part of the, 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 the sort of development of, of how this work was developing. And so the wood, I still use wood panels. I just finished one yesterday. So um, I still love this idea that, you know, nature gives you this material and you just work with it in a variety of ways. but. I still like respecting that organic, those organic forms within the, the material. And then in terms of this idea within the work, yeah, there is this idea of, a, of some kind of a physical entity that you know, is, is around always, that is going against whatever the, the status quo or the system might be. In the painting, it is this idea of networks and movement and but because of the title, because of the safety red, this kind of intensity of it, there is this tension there. So it's, I definitely was very aware of, of that when I was making the painting. And when El Museo commissioned the piece, I knew I wanted to make something a little more intense than, than some of the other works I was making at the time. Uh, I don't think in terms, decorative, uh, in terms of decoration with my work, I do think about that it has to be aggressive to have this sort of presence. Um, so when them so approached me about you know commissioning this painting for the collection, I just knew it had to be something kind of aggressive. And if there was any resistance against that, <laughs> you know, it, it there wasn't. But if there would have been, it would have been an interesting situation because ultimately an artist just does what they do, and it's it's very much. It's just how it is, and so that was a that was 2003, 2004, and it was great to see the painting here, and then it traveled. I remember it was on loan to a couple of institutions, some financial institutions. So it, it's been great to see it have its its own trajectory. It's been great to know that it's so well taken care of and, and, and it's a, you know, forms just part of a very large family. So.